In the early 16th century, Copernicus dared to suggest something radical, that Earth might not be the center after all. Then came Galileo. He pointed a telescope toward the heavens and saw moons circling Jupiter, proof that not everything orbited us. And then came Kepler. He studied the paths of planets and discovered they didn't move in perfect circles, but in ellipses, guided by invisible forces, following precise mathematical laws. Bit by bit, the stillness disappeared. Today, we know the truth is far stranger than anyone imagined. Space isn't silent, and it isn't fixed. It's in motion, everywhere. Not just planets and stars, but galaxies, clusters, and superclusters. Even the very fabric of space itself is moving, stretching in all directions. And yet, we still feel like we're standing still. The ground doesn't shake. The stars don't blur past us. The universe feels peaceful, but that calm is a trick of scale, a mirage. Because the truth is, even now, right this second, we're spinning on a planet, orbiting a star, flying through a galaxy, all while being pulled by a force we cannot even see. 